Hi, good evening, everyone. Good evening, Charlene. <laughs> so I'm, I'm seeing like 134 people on the live stream. How is everybody? Before we begin, I just want to um, ask everybody, how we, how is everybody doing? I'm looking at the chats right now, looking at the live video. Okay. Still editing my vlog. Okay. By the way, guys, how was your weekend? Happy Father's Day to, to everybody. I mean, belated happy Father's Day to the fathers in this um, community that we have. I hope that you had a wonderful Father's Day celebration. Okay, so tonight um, we have a special episode. Um, it's actually not part of our curriculum but I believe that we super duper need this because it's actually like, well, we entitled it, my God, Fluffy is crying outside my door. Um, we're entitling it um, graphic design do's and don'ts, but really it's all about like how to improve like your graphic design work. Um, so that you get picked with a client. And also, we're going to be picking apart some profiles um, for the benefit of everybody. Now, these are real profiles from, from, I think, batch one and batch two. And guys, for those who were, like, included in the, like, profiles to improve, don't feel like, yeah, no one can stop Fluffy. Can you hear him, Lamb? <laughs> can you hear Fluffy? He's crying outside. Um, don't ever feel that we are criticizing you because we didn't like what you did, but because it's just an observation and we want to, of course, make sure that, you know, that your skill is not a roadblock I mean, your profile is not a roadblock for you to have a client, okay? Because we're actually seeing like really good VAs um, are not chosen during our shortlisting process. By the way, we've been shortlisting like crazy and there are so many new clients right now. Um, and we just wanted to make sure that everybody will be able to like go into their profiles and improve whatever stuff you know, that they're supposed to do. This is uh, focusing more on aesthetics, okay? So the things that we see outwardly that, you know, we can do to uh, improve it, okay? My gosh, Fluffy. <laughs> Fluffy is crying. Stop it, Fluffy. Shh. Okay. Okay, so um, I'm seeing 237 people. I'm hoping that there will be more. But anyway, they can always catch up because, you know, they can just go back to this video. All right, so, um, so tonight we start this, uh, this session and then tomorrow we're also going to have another session and it is actually, um, I guess, some like very important reminders about best practices for virtual assistants, especially work attitudes, okay? Because um, obviously we've already been hiring like the recent batches and 
We are actually getting some feedback from certain clients, although most of the feedback is great. But, you know, there's like a few feedback that's not good. And I wanted to address the feedback, not to scold anybody really. And I'm not going to shame, you know, the person who is like, um, like talked about in the feedback. But um, we want to remind everybody, of course, that, you know, we have to do our very best and we just want to help everybody because, guys, we cannot we cannot save people who don't want to be saved. OK, <laughs> remember the Noah's Ark where the people were like just ignoring Noah and wouldn't follow um, going to the Ark. I, I don't know why I have this. Um, analogy right now <laughs> but I want you to help yourselves guys because as much as you know we will um, like as much as ipagtanggol namin kayo from your clients but if you're a crappy VA I mean we can't really help that right you just really have to improve you, you just have to admit that okay is that understood so Okay, I'm seeing that. Kargahin mo muna, Miss Judy. <laughs> Pakita nyo si Fluffy, ma'am. Yes, you haven't seen. This batch has not seen Fluffy, right? Let me get him, ha. Huh? One. Okay, Fluffy, say hi to your friends. 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 Ouch! <laughs> Bad boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mmm, Fluffy is biting my plants. Anyway, okay, so there's Fluffy. I think this is like, I think the first time that I showed Fluffy to batch three. <laughs> so anyway, okay, so now let's proceed to dissecting some um, profiles, okay? But also I'm going to like, look, first let's discuss, you know, everything about Canva, okay? So obviously, you know, um, it would really help if you would do some... Nahimot ko color, ma'am, ha ha, color pink. Hehe. Lam, sikat ka lam. Yung voice mo, So anyway, okay, so let's dissect some, uh, I guess, not so uh, things to improve with your Canva stuff, okay? So let's proceed. We compiled this, by the way, guys, it was not me. I'm going to pass the blame on somebody in my team who compiled these stuff. These are real samples, and they're not, you know, we're not going to bring them out to laugh at them. But so that, because I know that these are like super common, um, like loopholes. And so it's not just them, 
that has problems, but same to you, same to all of us, okay? Because in a way, ah, Fluffy, you're so noisy, Fluffy. Go out. So, I'm going to share my screen. Okay. Wait lang, entire screen, share. <laughs> okay. Huh? Share screen was canceled. Okay, share. Okay, so let's go to my email. I am sorry. Okay, what's happening? Wait lang. <laughs> I'm so palpa. Okay. So I'm going to be pointing out the stuff. Wait, uh -huh. That we need to improve. Okay. Okay. So sample number one. What are the things that we need to improve? Okay, so first of all, guys, again, to whoever owns this, I actually don't know who owns this, but um, what can we glean on for this? So first of all, be very mindful to not have like too many different fonts, number one. Number two is there's so many like, the the pictures and the graphics are fighting over for attention um and then of course you don't have to put your name here okay or if you have a logo that would be good okay but just slapping on your name here would actually especially that it's not like formatted properly or placed properly doesn't do you any favors okay Okay, next is this one. Okay, so for this one, it actually looks good, okay? It looks good in theory. However, um, the picture used is not high quality. It's pixelated, it's dark. You can see that this was actually screenshotted, okay? Because if you can see here, see, this, this thing, it looks like it was, um, it looks like yung parang box na, like when you're still editing inside Canva. And then here, around original portable, you can see that behind it, there's like a body of text, something. So it's clearly not finished. And then maybe, I don't know, maybe it was because they were short on time. So please, guys, um, make that extra effort to make it as clean as possible. Yung, you have to picture out, guys, that if you're going to be presenting this, um, if you're going to be presenting this, uh, you know, for your clients, you don't just think about them as your clients. Think about it like, let's say you are um, you're a top executive of uh, the top like advertising agencies, and your client is Procter and Gamble. Are you going to submit unfinished work? 
Is that a yes or a no? Okay. So, um, so I want you to learn from this. Okay. Maybe it's a pro pa, kaya screenshot na lang. And you know what? Um, it's not an excuse because you can always use the design elements that are not part of pro. Okay. There's so many things, nice elements that are for free. Okay. So, it will look unfinished, it will look haphazard, and it will look, well, if I'm Procter & Gamble and you're going to submit it to me, what will be my feedback, right? I would think like it's not, it's not complete. Maybe it's a draft. And even if it's a draft, it's supposed to be parang, what's that? Malinis, okay? So, para siyang finish or not, Finished, pass your paper. Parang ganun. <laughs> oh, sabi ni Joshua Rica Frente, baka may gustong matuto ng Photoshop, PM nyo lang po ako sa Snack Basics tuturo ko. Wow, okay. Joshua, maybe gusto mo, um, if it's fine, maybe we can do like a tutorial for, um, and then we can also add it sa Virtual Assistant University so that everybody can learn, right? We can do a session. I actually know Photoshop, but like the most of what I did in Photoshop was like back in like the early 2000s and I haven't touched Photoshop ever since there was like Canva and PicMonkey and things like that because I got lazy. Okay, so let's go back to the other samples, okay, so that we can learn from these mistakes. Okay? And please, guys, do not be offended. Okay? Um, this is for you to improve because you may be wondering, bakit hindi ako na profile ng clients? Well, we are trying to help you para ma-profile talaga kayong lahat. Okay? Coach, okay lang po ba yung kung hindi Filmora ang gamitin sa video para sa YouTube vlog. Okay, that's not related to this live stream. However, yes, you, it's fine. Okay? It's fine. Any is fine as long as it looks like a YouTube vlogger vlogger video. That's what I meant. But yeah, you can use um, like iMovie or whatever. Okay? Okay, so let's go back to... Okay. Let's go back to my email. Okay. So next picture. Okay, what's wrong with this? So, ito na naman. Marami siyang too, too many elements, right? Like, may dog pa dito, may dog pa dito. Tapos, so, guys, I am personally a maximalist myself, okay? I love layering elements. I'm that kind of person. I am very extra, okay? I love, um, I don't know, there really are things that look good like mixing and matching. But I guess the rule of thumb is you have to focus on one focal point, okay? so that the um, the viewer will not like they will not be confused about what's the most important element to to focus on okay um another thing is okay let's share again another thing is um, well, the fonts are okay, but there are just too many elements. This would have been cute if this was just this and this. But then, guys, do not overlay. I mean, that's okay. Pero in this scenario, overlaying or like um, overlapping time to party and then the dog and then there's like no highlights or something. If you really think about it, you cannot really appreciate the word time to party 
and then dog daycare for only $38 a day, right? It would have been great if like it was highlighted differently. Maybe it was put on the side or something, right? Okay, I'm so happy that you would say na your my intention is good from the start. Yes. Because you know what? Um not all of us are good at all of the tasks, right? I mean, I myself, even if I'm your teacher, I don't consider myself perfect with all of the tasks that um and all the skills that I trained you for. I can't even say that like I'm the best at Canva because I'm a much better writer than than whatever I can do with Canva, okay? I'm a much better, let's say, vlogger than whatever I can do with editing a video. And we have strengths and we have weaknesses, okay? All right. So... Okay, so now let's proceed with the next sample, okay? Next sample is, okay, ito. This is so common, guys. I actually see this not just with the person who did this, but there are so many people who did this fatal mistake, which is to use elements in Canva that are you know, for paid purposes, okay? And so there's like a watermark and that like XXX at the back. And guys, wag nyo ipilit, okay? Wag nyo ipilit, guys. If, if you will not buy that element, then don't use that element, okay? Please, I don't want to see that anymore. Um, I don't want to see that anymore in like, the profiles moving forward because you know what really prompted us to do this session we uh submitted some profiles um to like a specific client and they were looking for people who um like who could do some stuff like and we were like with you know canva and we submitted like of course because we're so confident about your skills we are we really believe in you guys and then we got flack and we got bad feedback f back from the clients and saying like oh these are incomplete elements and they're like it's not looking well and they're looking pixelated because you know pinilit kasi because it's supposed to be a paid element and then they downloaded like you know um yeah. Kinakabahan ko ako to the point that ayaw ko mag-comment kasi baka bumalik sa akin. You know what? You know what, Rosemary? Don't worry about it because this session is not like a bashing session. It's more of we will learn from each other's mistakes because um, a lot of us here or most I believe that all of us here are newbies in a way. I even, like myself, I myself, even if I've been like in this industry for quite some time, there's so many things that I am discovering day by day. And so I always have that attitude of being a newbie wherein I am excited to learn and I am open for feedback and always keep at it. Because when you have that attitude and you're, and hindi ka mag, Paka feeling and magpaka feeling expert. Kasi uh, your clients will appreciate you because if magpaka feeling ka and you get it in your head that you're so good because three months ka nang nagka canva at saka yung iba one month pa lang feeling mo na, na parang mabili mo nang lahat ng tao. <laughs> well, clients really hate that. And you know, don't be. Um, don't be an asshole, I guess. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's right, Lam. We all suck in some way. In one way or another, there's something that we're not good at, and it's fine, okay? But here, we're just going to be learning from each other, okay? There's a suggestion here by Reynald 
the budlo maybe this can help you can go to pexel and free pick for free high quality pictures yes um wedgie is actually using um these websites i believe and maybe you can go ahead and do that guys instead of like um using the like the paid versions in canva because and then you're going to download and then my mga you know my xxx tapos may canva na thingy so it doesn't look good okay all right i even want to my work to be featured para alam ko ano dapat improve yes actually it's a para diretso na lang you don't have to figure it out but you know, I don't know if your work is here. I think you're batch three, so maybe your work is not yet here. Okay, so let's proceed to the next, um, the next example. Okay. So, oh, okay, not the next example. So here, if you see, the background is like this, and then it doesn't read well. I cannot, I cannot like check well now you know the name is not clear the number is not clear you have to like maybe use some highlights i guess you know text highlights text backgrounds or something um maybe you can do other there are so many elements in canva that you can use so that you can highlight certain stuff here in fact you can put it like in really cute text boxes or like you know like those shapes right and then the color with green and uh, like purple, red, and pink. There's so many colors. Usually it would be good if you just stick to like around three colors at a time. And then there are also conflicting fonts here. I'm seeing around four fonts. Um, maybe stick to, you know, um, two so that it's not clashing, okay? And then another thing is, um, if you can observe, the the picture is not, like, aligned well. Like, you don't really see, like, what is really the real focal point here. Um, and then the scooter, maybe it would have been a good idea to put it, like, in the middle. I don't know. Or maybe remove this background. You know, there's so many different ways that this could have been um, improved. Um, but definitely, the the background has to go okay also the background is well it doesn't have to be like super related but then it's very unrelated to the picture okay okay yeah lower the opacity of the background i use complementary color wheel for a combination okay um, actually, yes, maybe we can also, like, um, it would also be good if you can start, like, um, you know, there's color theory, guys, and maybe you can try to, like, read up on it and watch YouTube videos, because um, at this point in our training, it's too much if we delve on, like, so many different things, right? So you'll have to do some, uh, you know, some research on that and read more, okay? Okay. Okay. So... Now, let's proceed to the next sample. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think allergic ako sa something dito sa, sa office ko. Like ma itchy yung nose core. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> so let's share my screen and let's proceed to the next sample. Okay. Okay. For this one, so who can who can tell me what's wrong with this sample? Who can tell me? Who 
Who can tell me what was wrong with that other sample? Did you see the sample, guys? Fawn, too dark. They're overlapping texts. Yes. Okay. Although, yes, the fawn, it was too dark. It was supposed to be for an adventure, and it's for kids. And then most of all, okay, it's too dark for kids. The readability is impossible. Okay, I cannot, like, for the life of me, I cannot read it. I really cannot read it. Like, let's go back to that. I can't read it. Like, okay, so for your kid's adventure. So, guys, part of color theory is you have to, like, talk about the psychology of, like, different colors. And, you know, if you're going to be talking about, like, kid's stuff, it shouldn't look like it's, you know a landscape in let's say arizona or something or nevada you know it should look something like kid friendly there's a reason why there are cartoon characters because they suit children or like graphics light stuff yellows um vibrant reds oranges um baby blues baby pinks and stuff right and then for here, I think the biggest um, like faux pas here is the like the I don't know what's the point of this. <laughs> I can't even read it. Scoot, kick, scooter, foldable, liftable, wheels, LED. So yes, I, I think you know what I mean. You cannot really read it. Maybe I think the point was they he wanted it to be like something like this. And for some reason, parang nag-separate yung mga, yung light at chaka dark. And then the background is all wrong. Um, well, technically, it's okay. But if you're going to think about um, that this is an ad campaign, are you going to be selling scooters with this kind of background? Okay. Do you think that you can sell scooters with this kind of background? It's not for kids, right? Here's the thing. I studied um, advertising, um, fine arts and advertising in college. And I can't say that I'm an expert at advertising because I did not finish I'm not a college graduate after all. However, what I can remember is that we used to dissect these ad campaigns and we used to like speak about great ad campaigns and you know the difference between great ads and poorly made ads and there's a thing about that. What's super important is when supposedly when you look at an ad it should be recognizable. It should look like I want to buy it. Okay. Think about that. Even beyond aesthetics. Like let's say for instance, it was super nice aesthetics. Like you can really say, wow, it looks like a beach in, in, in Boracay or something. But is it selling scooters? Right? Think about what are you selling is it going to help convert your scooter? Um, does it make sense? Okay. Think about that. Think about all those elements. Um, <coughs> oh my gosh. Think about like, um, think about that your client is Toys R Us. Is that ad going to fly? right? Are you going to be like winning any um, contracts that way? So it's so important, guys, that you just, you just don't do your Canva and Photoshop for the heck of it, okay? Think about this. Graphic design is complementary, if not like 
it's not just complimentary, but it's actually like one of those, um, I guess, major components of marketing, especially creating marketing materials. I've noticed that with a poorly made ad and a poorly made graphic, even if your product is super nice, you can't convert. That's crucial. If my gagawin ka lang naman, make it good. Okay, make it good and think about like, am I selling, you know, am I gonna be able to sell a scooter this way? <laughs> Natawa ako nito. Won't be sending my kids there. They might get lost for too much adventure. <laughs> ah, it's like a thing from Mexico. To exactly. This is so hilarious. <laughs> but, you know, I don't mean to offend the, the person who made it, but I think we all fall into that trap. Like, even I... I have a tendency to like super cutesy stuff. I love pinks. I'm very feminine, right? And um, like what if I'm selling, let's say, let's say what if I'm selling, um, let's say this one, this light bulb. Am I going to use the background here na mga flower, flower? It doesn't make sense, right? Is it going to highlight what my product is if I'm going to be using like the flower, flower dito sa background ng video ko? It doesn't make sense, right? So you have to, I guess, if there's a mistake that I did, when teaching Canva was that I did not, I don't know if I made it clear, but it's just like when you're creating um, your Facebook pages and your Facebook ads and your Instagram and your business Instagram and business Pinterest, you have to like analyze what is my product? Who is my target market? Who am I selling these to? Okay, so if I'm going to be selling to women, women tend to love colors like purple and light pinks and like magenta and fuchsia, um, carnation, salmon colors, right? I'm not going to be selling anything to women if I use like army green. Um and then I'm, I'm like selling like a feminine wash and it's brown and army green. No, right? Because women want to be fresh down there and women want to feel feminine and women want to feel fragrant. Nobody's going to be like buying products that make them smell like brown and army green because, you know, these invoke pictures of poop and like smelly stuff, right? Is that clear? Do you understand a little bit? Like, um, have you noticed that color really, um, colors really like affect our mood and our perception of things? Like, for example, if I'm going to look at, um, if I'm going to look at an ad and it looks like um, my mock, my mga like dark blues, navies, um, blacks and stuff, then the first things that, you know, are invoked in my mind is that, you know, it looks very like masculine and strong. You know, these are the keywords, right? So uh, what I wanted to do is instead of like from the very beginning, instead of even going ahead with your Canva app, Write it in a piece of paper. Think about, like, what exactly is my product? What kind of colors would invoke the sales of this product? Because that's the point of it all. What's the sense of creating an ad that does not sell, right? Might as well mag handwritten one paper na lang tayo tapos a picture, right? If you just need that. Okay, 
So think about that. Think about like, what are the feelings that I want to invoke when I'm creating this one? What are the thoughts that I want to be expressed? What's the first thing that I want people to think about when I'm looking at a certain ad? Am I going to like think, oh, I want to buy this, you know? Or do I want to scare people from buying it, okay? So think about that too, okay? Aside from like it has to read well, it has to like the colors have to appear well. Um, aside from all these elements, you have to make sure that you know, your work sells, okay? Even when it's all pictures and no words, it has to sell. That's the reason why there are also photographers because they are like, would you, would you, would you just hate it? Like, for example, you hired a photographer for your wedding and then ang na-highlight is yung mga bilbil at saka yung mga pimples mo. Hindi ka ba magwild? Tapos i-post sa Facebook. Gusto mo yun? So para din, para din yung like sa ads na ginagawa niyo on Canva. Is that understood? I'm getting so like emotional. <laughs> I'm so impassioned about this topic. <laughs> I'm not seeing like there are no reactions. Maybe, are you still there, guys? Am I still talking to people? Wala nang nagchat-chat. <coughs> okay. So let's proceed to the next example. Okay. Let's share a screen. Next is, okay, this one, virtual lasting training review. So who can tell me what can be improved with this one? Who can tell me how can we improve this one? The virtual lasting review thing. Kapag pinakita bilbil ko sa kasal, hindi ko babayaran yan. <laughs> True. Like, I would be so angry, right? If they're going to highlight, like, all my bad parts, is there a point? I don't care if, like, meron silang expenses. Refund ang gusto ko. Oh, Fluffy is angry na. Too much color. Yes, too much color, not readable. Okay? Color of the font. Can you hear Fluffy? Bad boy. Plain background would be appropriate for text. Transparency of the background. Opacity. Magulo tingnan. Too much color. The text is unreadable. They can put a rectangular element behind the text so it can be highlighted. Yes, that's a great idea. It's more like an art exhibit. Actually, you know what? I love art. I'm actually like um, last Saturday while I was watching Sid and Aya Char. I had a Tagalog. Um, I'm not good at Tagalog, guys, but I love Tagalog movies. I'm such a sucker for Tagalog movies and also K-drama. And while I was watching Sid and Aya, I was also painting. And I was painting like a mother and child. I will show you when I'm once I'm done. It's a really big painting. But yes, as much as I love colors and I love like abstract art, um, it doesn't... It would, you know, it doesn't like highlight the text, which is the point of the review, right? So that's what should have been improved. Okay. Texts are unreadable. Siguro pwede pulagyan ng kahit white background under the text, then lower the opacity para at least ma-highlight yung text. Yes, that's super true. Thank you so much, JC. 
Okay, so let's share the screen and let's show the next sample. Okay, ito. Okay. So what's wrong, guys? Look at this. And then tell me in the comments, what can we do to improve this? Watermark. Yes. Guys, alam ko na may magandang backgrounds na pro. But guys, if my watermark, it doesn't look good. Like, just not use it, okay? You can actually, like, get so many pictures. You can actually, by the way, guys, I don't know if you're aware, but you can actually upload your own photos. You can use different photos. Just, you know, look for other stuff. There's so many photos. You can use your own photography. You can get photos that don't have a watermark, okay? Okay. Okay. Premium background used with watermark. Big watermark. Yes. Change the background, coach. Yep. Ano pa? At least use free images or download sa Google. Yes. Ang dami-dami sa Google. Pinterest. Anyway, samples lang naman ito. They don't know that we use them. Sorry, ha? <laughs> or, you know, you can always credit, but... um. We're just using them as samples, so I think that should be fine. Okay, what else? Watermark, walang budget ang business advertising. <laughs> yes! Diba? Have, you have to picture out na Procter and Gamble is my client. Gusto ba nila na may watermark? Siyempre hindi, right? Okay. Take high-res photos. Yes, this is super important. I've also noticed this. Like, um, people, parang pinipili talaga yung mga low-res na photo na, ga, na gamitin. And, guys, it just doesn't look good. I want you to, like, think about that sample. Like, my client is, think about that dream client and you are, like, the marketing um and advertising um executive and think about that dream client that you want to serve let's say procter and gamble let's say apple let's say louis vuitton gucci chanel would they want a watermark on their photos or would they want um, pixelated photos and photos that are not high quality or low low rest. So, no, right? So, you think about those things. That's the reason why it's so important to, like, play pretend and think about, like, the, the clients that you are serving, okay? Watermark and the big red sale is a bit scary looking. Okay, let's look at that again. I agree. I think I noticed that earlier. Yeah. Wait long. Okay. So now let's proceed to the next sample. And Okay, ito. So there are so many elements guys that are fighting for attention, okay? Although it's a little bit better than the rest, but still, this is low-res photo. Okay? Tapos, um, marami siyang colors. Different colors. Ang daming fonts din. Okay. Oh, actually, 
Miss Judy, I used the free month premium of Canva to get those watermarks off and use the better background. You can also download it in HQ. I used my debit card that has no funds. This is a cool idea. I've also done this before. <laughs> yeah, you can use the trial. Okay, that's totally fine. They're giving a 30-day trial, right? I don't know if it's still 30 days, but yeah. Okay. Didn't stick to a theme, yes. Should use the official virtual lasting font. Yes, that's true. That's true, guys. If there is an official like font, better use that, right? Okay. Elements didn't blend. It's crowded, right? Okay. That's true. Okay, so let's screenshot. I Okay, let's proceed to the next sample. Uh, did we go back to the... Oh, okay, ito. So... Try to look at it, guys. At anong masasabi ninyo? What can you say? How can we improve this? Take a look and I want to see your feedback. For the last one, what can you say about the sample na yun? Colorful. <laughs> Too many fonts, yes. Naputol na yung blender. <laughs> yes! Too much fonts. Use one to three fonts, yes. Overkill, sakit sa mata, crowded. It's actually good, but I think masyado masakit sa mata yung color. Too much color. Sana gumamit ng dark na fonts. Yes, actually, I wish that some fonts na instead of gray, maybe they should have used black so that makita, di ba? Parang nakat off yung blender. Sa sobrang laki ng font. <laughs> okay. Nag-aagawan mga colors and pictures. Yes. Okay. Yung mini US Blender, hindi kita lahat ng text. Yes. Too much green, I guess. Crowded. Okay. True. Okay. So now, let's go back. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah. So, like, it's pixelated. Yung picture na gina ginamit, if you can see the difference, ang background niya hindi pixelated. But ito, pixelated masyado. I actually like the fact that, you know, the the... The person who made this, you know, tried their, her or his best to be creative and to have a lot of elements in place. But maybe better use pictures that are more high quality. Also, like, it would have, it would have looked great if, like, talagang mas high quality yung color. Tapos ay yung picture kasi para siyang blurry talaga. Like, that's what I see. Also, hindi siya nag... Like, dito, it's sharp, but then dito, it's blurry. So, that's the distinction. And then here, na part is, it would have been better if black na lang talaga para makita yung parang fine print niya. Ito blurry kasi it's along with the picture. ba? Tapos maraming fonts. So, ito, different, 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 different. Ito pa, ito pa. Okay? Okay, so next picture, ito. Okay, we already know 
'di ba? Pinilit pa talaga yung car picture na to. You can just actually get car pictures on Google, on Pinterest na hindi pixelated. You can just upload it, right? And then it's pixelated, itong mga words, itong mga words, you cannot even read it. So, I think this is a screenshot, right? Guys, wag niyo pilitin. Okay? Oh, what else? Okay. Dito naman, walang effort masyado. Parang copy-paste lang, tapos. Ano siya? Parang copy-paste lang yung, I think ginawa niya sa band paper, tapos pasted it here, tapos isubmit. Kasi I think, parang nagkulang na yung time. <laughs> ba? Diba? Okay. Okay, so now let's I really hate having to crit critique guys cuz I'm not much of a critic kind of person, okay? To be honest, I believe in creative expression. I really I really believe that people have their own art. And I believe that people have the freedom to do whatever they want to do with their art. However, do not be offended if I am correcting these stuff. And also don't be fearful that you don't have the ability to, you know, to make impressive work. But here's the thing. I just know the kind of stuff that do convert. And I've noticed that it's so important to make high quality pictures so that your Facebook ads will convert. Diba you're going to use your Canva stuff for, let's say, for example, put it on your posts and then so that you can boost your posts or you can upload it. So if it's, a, um, you know, if the quality is not very good, then you're going to have a hard time um, converting and making any sales because then think about this guys if blurry yung picture alam nyo anong feedback ng mga tao like feeling nila scam yung post mo feeling nila hindi siguro totoo yung product baka walang on, on hand kasi parang kinuha lang nila kinopya lang parang scam talaga right have you noticed those like for sale na mga items tapos pixelated ng mga Chinese Chinese yung mga pictures hindi ka mapapabili kasi feeling mo it's a scam right anybody has that experience because for me I really discriminate that way I don't know I believe it more if I like the pictures okay so now let's proceed to some to some profiles Okay, so it's really timely that we're going to be discussing this because for the batch one and batch two who are on here, at least you can, you know, be aware. And by the way, if you were not included in the profiles to improve, it doesn't mean that you have nothing to improve on your profile, okay? Um, what I want you to do is to... Actually, this is not picking apart the profiles that were sampled here. It's just that wala kaming time and ito na lang yung mga profile na um, na-check muna. Okay? But there's more. And whatever profile you have, I'm sure that there's something that you can still improve based on the feedback that we have here. So wag kang maging, wag kang magpaka-feeling magaling. <laughs> Although, of course, I want you to feel that you are good, but don't feel like mas magaling ka pa sa iba. Kasi, you know, meron ka mga kapansanan sa buhay. <laughs> okay. So, let's start on the profiles. Okay? Let's share our screen. And... Uh... Okay, ito. Okay. 
Okay. So it's actually cool because look at that. Like she actually has like a video. I like it, to be honest. However, the first thing that I don't like here is it says, if you're overwhelmed with your business, my pleasure to help. It has a grammatical error. Okay. It would have been great if you, if she put, if you're overwhelmed with your business, I am here to help. Okay. So maybe you can use like, um, you can use, let's say, Grammarly. Because um, you can really observe like grammatical errors. Also, it's fighting for attention. Like, um, I guess the bonjour here. Um, and then this one, like, meron talaga siyang dalawang color. Ibang color na daman dito. But overall, I like the video. I, I think it's cute. Um, needs improvement lang itong part na to. Kasi, guys, wrong grammar, guys. Tatak na yan sa utak ng clients din nyo, Right? Even if you didn't mean it, but if wrong grammar talaga, um, magkaka-issue kayo. Kasi the client, alam nyo, guys, I don't know. Like, it's really unfortunate because English is our second language, obviously, and we shouldn't really be judged by the way that we speak English because, but it, uh, but I've noticed that even our fellow Filipinos judge us na if hindi mag, if hindi ka magaling sa English, then they automatically think that you're not so smart. And I think that's unfair, but then we can't really fight um, culture, I guess. It's already like a, like, that's already part of culture, I guess, and some sort of, like, racism. <laughs> but but that's the reason why you have to, like, you know, because if ilagay mo na lang yung sa, uh, sa profile mo, make sure na correct ang grammar, guys. Okay? Next is, okay, let's, I'm going to share my screen again. Let's proceed. Okay, so here, okay, so we've already judged this. Now, going down, okay, my typewriter. So it's it's not like it doesn't, it doesn't go well, yung typewriter na part dito, tsaka dito. Parang, what I would advise, guys, is to have um, a unified theme that goes together. I know that, Sobrang excited kayo na like marami kayong natutunan and you just want to like employ all the styles that you've observed and you know because we all have like different personalities and we want our personalities to shine but choose one unifying theme choose um like choose a particular um color scheme okay and stick to that for the entirety of your website okay because, again, um, you want to make sure that it all looks cohesive and organized. Because it will look messy if you have, like, different, parang ang different, different the backgrounds, uh, very, very different colors. Mm -mm. And then, of course, guys, who are you selling? Okay? I repeat nyo talaga yan sa kokote nyo. Think about it again and again and again. What am I selling here? I'm selling myself. Okay, so what am I going to do? What am I going to highlight? What kind of, um, maybe it would be a great idea if I'm going to highlight how good I am, how organized I am, right? Imagine this. If your profile looks messy, then malamang messy ka na pagka VA. That's what they're going to, um, that's what they're going to like conclude. So you don't want that, right? So of course, hindi naman nila alam, but like in their head, maybe masabi nila ay baka hindi to marunong mag-organize ng fans kasi 
Messi. There, you know, our work speaks volumes. You have to think about that. It's not just the deadlines, but you have to make sure that your work is a great representative of yourself. And most especially, that's in your profile, right? Okay. I've been doing website designing as a website designer. That's from Jerry Leading Lassa. The simpler, the better. Make sure to use color theme when doing website Avoid doing using highlights. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. As much as possible, you know, try to be very simple. Never choose a color for your text na the same color ng background. If we notice sa mga logos sa mga companies or part, it's a combination of dark and light colors. I love that. I love that. Okay, I love website designing. Please make sure to use color theme. Avoid highlighting your font. Hindi kasi nakakaprotignan. Yeah, that's true. So, and then most of all, guys, what I can really say, if for example, like, you know, me, um, I design websites myself and I am a client of people who create websites because I really like, um, you know, I've been involved with this for a long time. It's so important for me that when I look at a website that looks professional, meron talaga tayo makonclude when we're looking at the profile. We're going to think like, organized bang utak ng taong ito? Do they know what they're doing? Do they look professional? Does it look like I can trust this person? Can I trust this person to take over my website? Diba? So I know that we can get so tempted to like use all the colors in the world because we want to like highlight, I don't know, because we love colors. I myself, I love colors. I love prints and everything. If I even like, I've even experimented wearing clothes print on print, but not, never on websites, guys. As much as possible, all pages must have a recurring theme. Um, and, you know, something like a recurring, uh, like, color scheme, okay? All right. So, what else? Mm, ito. And then, dito, di ba, see? And then, merong mga stuff na it doesn't just read well. Although, you know, I really like Jonalyn. Jonalyn is super awesome. Jonalyn is actually living... In one of my condos now, she's like one of my tenants. I actually helped her out because she um, couldn't find a home during ECQ. And she's now living in one of my condos in Mandawe. And I love her. But, um, you know, we are very objective. And this is not an attack to her. You know, just like it's not an attack to everybody. Okay. So that's how we can improve, guys. Try to look for a way to unify and organize things, okay? Make sure that the eye is able to rest. Kasi if we cannot rest, parang ma-overwhelm yung mata ng client mo, okay? Okay, so next. Profile. Next profile. X na natin to. Okay. Okay, what can you say should be changed here? So with Diane naman, what I like about her profile is that outright, I can say that it looks neat, okay? I'm not overwhelmed with so many elements. However, what I can also see is that it's not perfectly aligned. Like, it's on here and then nothing is here. Okay, that's one thing. 
Kayo, anong feedback ninyo so far? Anong feedback ninyo? We may suggestion dito si May Mendoza. Try the Canva color gen palette generator, guys. Just upload the photo that you're intending to use, then it'll, it'll create color combinations for you. That's awesome. Thank you so much, May. Okay. So, yon sa, sa sample, hindi masyadong okay yung alignment. Yeah, so we can, like, move that, di ba? We can center it or something. Okay, alignment, positioning po ng mga panels, napaka-plain, yeah. So, another thing naman is, it's okay naman to be simple, pero wag sobrahan, guys. Why? Why is it na hindi masyadong, hindi mabuti na sobrahan ang pagka-plain? Kasi, yun nga, ang point of becoming a virtual assistant is magpakitang gilas naman kayo, right? It's okay to be classic with the elements, pero try to also not be afraid to experiment and to show the clients what you've got. Diba? To show na magaling din kayo. Okay? Don't just show, yeah, like based on no first impression as Establish it looks basic at first glance. Yes. So clients would, of course, even if like, okay, nakarest yung mata nila, hindi, na, hindi siya overwhelming. However, the tendency would be is if you're going to be like, um, if, if there's going to be like a lot of profiles that's going to be lined up, you're not going to be chosen kasi, um, Kasi what if may mga impressive na mga profile tapos yung sayo simple. So, try your best naman magpa-impress. Okay? Yes po. Dapat yung profile catchy po. Like advertising din. Selling yourself. Yes. If there's one thing that I keep on drilling here is that everything that we are learning is ultimately helping us sell ourselves and helping our clients sell their products, okay? It looks to me like a document and not a website. That's true because it's super plain. So um, try to be more, I know, be catchy, okay? So neat yet kind of boring. Looks like a profile for a law firm. Yes. Okay. Try to, you know, try to show them what you've got, guys. Okay? Kasi, in a way, competition din naman. Kasi, di ba, marami kayo na VA. So, the tendency would be is, hindi nila malaman na, oy ang galing-galing mo pala. Kasi, because of the profile. Kasi, nagmarali ka na, tapos hindi mo na lang siya inedit. Yung ganon. Take time naman to edit. It should make an impact to impress the clients. That's true. Okay, let's proceed to the next profile. Okay? Okay. Oh, ito. So for here, what I can say is the, the picture here and the name is super big. And it um for me, it would have been better if like because at first glance, if I'm just going to click here, it doesn't look like a website. It just looks like a big um maybe like a calling card and then when you go down um about resume portfolio services the color combinations used doesn't look modern and the and the i i don't know like everybody's always like grilling people that when you're using like comic sans it doesn't like it doesn't look modern 
it looks like 1995 or something. So try to avoid Comic Sans at all costs, guys. Um, for the rest of their portfolio, it's actually pretty good, but it could have been organized better um, into sections. You can actually organize things better into sections, guys. But for me, my greatest, like my chief complaint is the font here and the theme that was used. It looks very 1995. Okay, so try to be modern. There's so many themes. Diba? What are your other... Para lang pong gumawa sa HTML, yes. Comic Sans nga. Mm -mm. It looks like a profile sa Friendster. Yes. E di ba yung Friendster 2003 pa yun, 2002 something. Di ba? Okay. Elementor plugin sa WordPress is just like drag and drop. And must easy position yung mga text. Yes. So yeah, um, we're actually using Elementor. And um, I believe that it was given as a sample um, during like the talk. But anyway, um, that's so true, you know, so that you can position things better. Okay, the sizes of the images must be uniform. Yeah. This is so true, Sheila. Thank you. We should do our best in everything that we do, no matter how simple it is. It's not uh, just to accomplish work. Yes, especially naman that, you know, it's just for you guys, okay? Okay. Red can bring strong emotions like anger. Totoo. That's so true. Diba? Okay. Sayang po, ma'am, yung magandang work sa baba. Clients most likely won't go down na. Yes, totoo yan, Mikey, di ba? Kasi yung first na makita, yung parang super red. Tapos yung sub... Yung Comic Sans, nakaka-turn off na part. So, hindi na nila makita na may mga modern designs pa. Di ba? So that they won't bother. So, guys, make sure that the first glance, like the first shot of your like website is impressive and looks professional okay yes must professional photo po sana that's true sayang yung wordpress sagarin na natin yes sagarin you guys you learn a lot okay and you know guys when in doubt you can always like research top um like top na mga um, themes you can buy or there are actually free na top themes. You can just search it on Google and then download it and upload it on your WordPress. Okay. So let's Okay, let's do um, a few more profiles. Okay. Okay, dito. So outright, what I can say is it's very disorganized yung parang wala siyang uni unifying na ano. Like, ialists.com. Ano to? Diba? Tapos, enjoy the following perks of... Like, and then may globe dito. Parang, it's a mishmash of things. And then, ito, like my stripes, tapos my stars. Okay. Ang daming different things so 
meron siya mga magandang stuff naman, pero it it's actually like, ano, parang it's not unifying. Again, it's not unified, guys. Please prioritize na unified yung design before like you know, sa maraming design, design, design. Okay, try to like look for something na it looks organized. Okay? Parang ginawa using HTML. <laughs> Unorganized. Parang yung friends sir dati, yes. So, again guys, okay, please organize your thoughts because in a way, your failure to organize your profile, your clients would judge you as an unorganized VA. So you don't want to, you know, be um, judged as unorganized, right? So make sure that your work looks professional, organized, something that, you know, I want you to picture out now, when you do your WordPress or if you already created your WordPress, look at it and it would say, am I going to get hired? And it would also help if you look at the profiles ng ibang mga VAs na na-hire na. Try to look at them. Tapos doon mo masasabi, ay kaya pala na-hire sila kasi maganda yung profile. Or at least, hindi naman like super maganda but organized. Okay. So, konting tweak lang yan in just one day. You can improve it and you can improve your chances of getting hired. Because in our end, nagiging desperate na kami. That's why we have this session. Okay? At saka preventive measure na lang din ito for batch 3. It's quite unfortunate though that there are only 286 people on this live stream. I'm like really sad. Because... We started, my God, we started at like, oh, ano ba yun? 1,800, 1,700, and then there's only like 200 plus people, including like some like of the old batches. So, okay. Ma'am, where to view poor profiles of hard VAs? You know what? Um, I will ask Joy to... Send it sa Slack. Maybe it can help. Good artists copy. Great artists steal. Yes, especially in this scenario, try to look at like the profiles of like, you know, people who are super good. And then try to like picture out na you know, what did they do to get hired? And then maybe you can also, you know, think about, like, how can I improve mine? Totoo, 1,700 yung nag-register. But it looks like um, not everybody is cut out to be a VA because not everybody has the patience and, you know, that burning desire to learn. And I'm so proud, by the way, for everybody who is on this live stream because... It makes me, like, I see you guys. I see the names here, and I'm super proud of you because um, it takes so much commitment. And that's the kind of attitude that we're looking for and the people that we will be hiring, okay? Laban ang September, laban lang September team. Okay, go September team. I think all the ice pod nandun, so including those not yet hired, I guess. Well, um, hindi lahat yung mga VA nandun kasi some did not like, ewan ko, hindi sila nag-submit ni Neil na i-submit sa website. Some don meron ng client, some din wala. Mm -mm. Better to ask uh, Joy sa mga magandang profile ng mga na-hire. Kasi meron din namang mga na-hire na hindi maganda masyado yung profile. Okay. Okay, let's try last na profile kasi I'm tired na din. <laughs> okay. One last profile. Okay. 
Okay, ito. So, ito. Okay. It looks like para siyang mga early 2000s na mga website. Yung parang 1999, 2001 yung ganun. Yung mga 2007 pala yung mga ganun. Doesn't look very modern. There are already so many modern themes, guys. So take advantage of them, okay? And then um, I also noticed here na little lang yung mga yung mga samples na ginawa niya hindi Hindi masyado. That's the reason why it's really good to complete your samples, guys. Because para marami kayong malagay sa profile ninyo. Because in that end, like parang just a few lang ang ginawa niya. So, syempre, if you're going to be looking at that profile and then comparing to a profile na kahit messy pero maraming sample, of course, ang ma-hire is yung maraming sample, right? Diba? ba? Okay. The profile photo needs an upgrade. Yes. It you know what guys? What I would advise you is if you want to put your photo in your um in your profile and then obviously wala naman tayo mga studio ngayon kasi like for example here in Cebu it's still ECQ kasi maraming cases dito which is so unfortunate. So, what you can do is you can actually, like, host your own photo shoot at home. Look for a good wall. Maybe make some backgrounds. Try to organize your space. Look for a way. And then ask your husband or your boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, whatever. Or your family member, nanay, tatay, yung aso mo, ipapicture. picture ka, Right? So that it looks good. Okay? And um, and then mag-post ka. Mag-post ka na maraming marami. And then choose like as much as possible. Like use the best camera that you have at home. And then, and then try out like different poses. You can do it, guys. Because um, I'm not saying that my channel is like the best ever. Because obviously it's. You know, we, we just have to do whatever that we can. But you have to think about this. I'm just at home. And I, I'm i not even using my DSLR because I don't know how to use a DSLR. It's so annoying. But I have one. But um, I'm just using my phone. And I think that I take good photos for my, for my thumbnail. So I think that you can also do it, guys. Okay? All right. So... So, um, do, does anybody have questions for me? Because um, we've now been on this live stream for around one hour and 30 minutes. Anybody has questions? And I'm so happy, guys, by the way, that you're all like... Um, you know, really like helping out each other. I'm seeing na may mga August team, mga January babies, mga September babies, mga taga July. By the way, shout out sa mga June babies na nag birthday at about to have a birthday. Okay. Miss Judy, should it be a professional photo sa WordPress or okay na na naka casual? Okay, now. I would really advise you to, I'm not saying no na talagang magbarong ka or magsuit ka, but I want you to picture out, okay, may tip ako sa inyo. Go to Instagram and look at hashtag CEO, hashtag boss, hashtag boss babe, hashtag um, independent woman, hashtag success, yung mga ganun. Tapos meron sila mga post na mga paganon, mga pa, mga paganon, mga something like that. 
try to emulate those poses. Hindi yung mga, yung mga ganon, right? Huwag mga ganon, guys. Huwag mga ganon. Okay? Huwag mga pa-cute. You have to look like a boss, boss bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you have to look like you have your life together. You don't want to use photos that make you look like um, a crazed fan for BTS or something. I mean, I'm not trying to criticize that, but not on your profile, guys. Fluffy is so maingay. I prefer professional photo, yes. Make it as professional as possible. Obviously, wala na tayo, wala, hindi tayo nakaka-access ng mga studio ngayon. But be resourceful, just like what Lolita is saying. Pwede kang mag-feeling professional dyan sa bahay ninyo, di ba? Just got back here. I've done almost half of I mean, I'm willing to finish it all. Will I still graduate? I'm really eager. Yes, you know what? Just finish it. Nobody's stopping you from finish it. Just finish it. Okay? Okay. We should take business seriously. Yes. This is for clients. So, guys, wag yung mga kanganon na mga photo. Diba? Wag yung mga ganon. Mga Mr. Poggy. Yung mga mga ganon. No, guys. It looks amateur. Okay? Okay. So, um, I hope that this session was able to help everybody. Any, um, do you have any feedback for me for this session that we just did? Was it helpful? I hope that you learned something tonight. Did you learn anything, guys? I hope you did because ultimately we're doing our very best to get you hired. But if your profile doesn't highlight your best qualities, naging useless yung mga activities ninyo kasi majudge kayo sa WordPress nyo lang, right? So guys, sayang naman. So what I would want you to do after this session for the batch one and batch two, go ahead and like do some changes to your profile and then approach Joy that you've made some changes so that, you know, we can like immediately maybe like, you know, highlight and give you more clients. Because na board na din kami guys na always kayo ma-decline, Okay. In our end, it's just minor tweaks on your profile. And then for batch three, you've seen some, you know, practices that you should avoid. I want you to be, to, to do your very best and to aspire more and to really get down to business. Think about what will sell you and your services more and highlight your greatest skills and your best qualities, okay? Because walang gagawa niyan kundi kayo. Help yourself. Because in our end, we're doing our very best already. So help yourself get hired. Make a good profile. Do your very best. And you know what? Um, maybe we can do another session um, where we look at the profile so that we can like do some improvements. But don't count on it, guys. Kasi ang dami-dami ninyo. So... Okay? Okay. Okay. At least my idea kami. Okay. Yes, miss. It's very informative. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mom Judy, your inspiration. Thank you. Okay. So helpful po. We'll check some of my words just to make sure. Yes. Okay. Go back to your works, guys. And, you know, make some improvements. I consider myself informed and guided well. We'll just have to do my best on my tasks as well from all the room for improvements I'm learning during our sessions. Great. 
It's really helpful for me as a newbie. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thank you so much for the tips. And I'm doing my best to be creative at the same time. Looking for YouTube tutorials. Okay, good. Okay, anyway. So I will see you guys tomorrow, by the way. We're going to have another session. Um, We're going to have another session, guys. And it's about work ethics. Um, best practices and like work attitudes because I'm getting some feedback guys and most of it is good but some of it is not so good and you know I want to make sure that we don't have to fire you because ultimately guys if I get wind of info that you don't have a good attitude to your clients no matter how much I love you I will have to fire you okay so anyway, you have a great day and you take care. Bye, guys.